Hey everyone! So, as you may have noticed, the background of my videos is different now. That is because I'm currently in the process of moving. I'm sort of in between permanent residences right now and am at my parents' house. So this is my mom's bookshelf. I thought it'd still be kind of fun to have that in the background. When I was packing my books, I was confronted with an issue, one that a lot of you can probably empathize with. I didn't want to pack all of my books, but of course it was not really realistic for me to bring all of them with me. So I limited myself to 10 books that I was going to bring with me to my parents' house because it is, I do have the library and I also have their book collection, which is massive. So I'm definitely not out of books. I'm not ever going to be in danger of not having something available to read, but at the same time I'm very attached to my book collection. I love it. And there are so many books on my unread shelf that I really really want to read. I just haven't gotten to yet. So I decided to pick ones that I really wanted to read and then I ended up going to the used bookstore and picking up a couple of things that I would ended up not packing either because I was really excited about them. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to share with you the books that I decided not to pack and my reasonings behind that just because it was a little arbitrary but I'm really legitimately excited to read all of these things. And also now because I have them I thought it would be fun to share the books that I got from the VidCon book swap which of course I have no footage of to show you but I was there and it was fun. But I want to start first with the books that I didn't pack. First is one that I picked up at the used bookstore right before I moved and it is Stone Mattress by Margaret Atwood. The only Margaret Atwood book I have read is The Handmaid's Tale which I really enjoyed and I've read a couple of times and I've been really wanting to read more Margaret Atwood. I saw this at the used bookstore, it's a hardback and it was only $8 so I couldn't resist and I figured I just need to read more Margaret Atwood, I need to get back into that and now that I'm only limited to about 12 books I will probably pick this one up much sooner than I otherwise would. The next two kind of go together. These are also used bookstore finds that I, I absolutely could not pass up because you cannot find these usually in new or used bookstores and they are Grotesque by Natsuo Kirino and Real World by Natsuo Kirino. Usually at my used bookstore there are five or six copies of Out, which is great. Out is a great book, but I have it and I don't really want to read it. These two I've never seen in any bookstore, used or new. I've kind of accepted the fact that I would have to buy them online eventually, but then I found them in store and I was really, really excited about them. And also they're in relatively good condition and one of them is hardback, so it was a really nice find. I read Out two years ago and I also read The Goddess Chronicle at the end of last year, both of which I enjoyed. I liked Out more though, and these are both more along the lines of Out because I think that they're both crime fiction, which she does very well. She's super gritty and I really enjoy that style of hers. I don't know what either of these are actually really about, but they're crime fiction and they're Japanese, so you know, in my wheelhouse, definitely gonna like these. Next is one that I'm also really excited about. I got this when I was in Chicago a couple months ago and it is Get in Trouble by Kelly Link. I had to read her short story collection Magic for Beginners for class a couple years ago and have been dying to read more Kelly Link since then. I just I cannot wait to read more of her stories. They are really whimsical, they usually involve magical realism, they're really well written, and I, I just didn't really want to read it. Also, the number of people who blurb this in the back is crazy. Teo Brett, Karen Russell, Erin Morgenstern, Sarah Waters, so I'm definitely, definitely excited about this. This just came out this year, and I wish more people were talking about Kelly Link because her stories are kind of crazy. Next are a couple of graphic novels, the first of which is The Sculptor by Scott McCloud. I picked this up at, during free comic book day. It was not free. It is a massive hardback graphic novel that I'm a little bit intimidated by, and I really honestly don't know what it's about. I basically picked this up because Amanda from The Marvelous Reading Room read it and loved it. She said it made her cry and changed her life and all that stuff, so I'm really excited to read this. I've heard nothing but good things. I wish I could tell you what it was about, but I honestly have no idea. I'm just really excited about it. The other graphic novel is Seconds by Brian Lee O'Malley, which I've had since Christmas, so I really need to get on it because I'm way behind on this one, but I'm really excited about this too. I love Scott Pilgrim. I've heard mostly good things about this. I know it made a lot of people's best books of 2014 list, so you know, uh, that's a good sign, and I figured it'd be something that would be a little bit quicker, not as quick as a normal trade, but, you know, something that was relatively fast-paced. I also have The Tiger's Wife by Tia O'Brett, which I've been really wanting to read for a long time, since I got, I've, I've heard about it first from Colleen over at Little Ghost Creations 
couple of years ago. And then more recently, Mercedes from Mercy's Bookish Musings read it and loved it. I think I also got this for Christmas, so I really should read it. Again, I don't really know what it's about. Trend with me, I guess. I'm just excited to read it because two people that I really like and respect liked it. And so I feel that's a good enough reason. So a few months ago, I started doing a Harry Potter reread. I thought it'd be fun. I haven't really read them as an adult. I read them every summer during high school, but it's been a while since high school. So I thought I would start doing that again. And I've read The Sorcerer's Stone and the Chamber of Secrets within the past year or so. So I'm gonna continue with the reread. So I have The Prisoner of Azkaban and The Goblet of Fire. I don't know why I left these aside because my parents actually own copies of these, so I, it was kind of a waste, but I think it was partially just because these books are so beautiful, particularly The Goblet of Fire. I really love the design of these editions and The Goblet of Fire I think is the coolest because it has the dragon on the front. I don't know, I think these are really well designed. I, I'm really glad that I have them but I, I probably should have uh, packed these because my parents actually do own copies of these. I don't know. I'm, I'm just realizing this now, which is silly, but I really want to read them. And again, they will take no time to read. I'm very familiar with the stories. I just really want to really read them. And right now I'm listening to a Harry Potter podcast that is really making me want to read all of the books and watch all the movies again. So I can kind of join in with these. And the last one that I set aside, again, I don't really know what it's about, but again, I'm also really, really excited about it. I got it when I was in Chicago and it is Fingersmith by Sarah Waters. I have been really dying to read some Sarah Waters because I keep hearing wonderful things. My mom likes Sarah Waters. Mercedes likes Sarah Waters. I think that Colleen just read Sarah Waters and enjoyed it, so I need to I need to really read some Sarah Waters. This is one that I heard was a good place to start, so it's the one that I have. I think one of the reasons why I didn't pack this was so that I would be forced to read it so I wouldn't put it off anymore. Alright, and then just to quickly share the books that I got at the VidCon book swap, I swapped a copy of In the Woods by Donna French and The Secret History by Donna Tart. They're ones that I got at the used bookstore and I thought would be good additions because there wasn't a lot of adult fiction at the VidCon book swap, honestly, and I thought it would be refreshing to have that. So I swapped those and I hope that they went to people who will read them and love them because they're both great books. First of all, I got Newt's Emerald by Garth Nix. I honestly picked this up because I I have never read any Garth Nix before, and I, again, figured this one would be relatively fast, but it is a proof, which was kind of exciting. I don't really ever read proofs, so it was exciting for me, and I figured it would be a good starting off point with Garth Nix. That supposition is based upon nothing, but oh well. And the other one I got, I honestly didn't even read the back. I didn't care. It was one that no one was picking up, and I thought it looked intriguing, so I decided to give it a home, and it is called Burying Water by K.A. Tucker. All I know is that it is a thriller. I figured it would be a good summer read, and no one was picking it up, and I thought that, that was sad. Sorry that I can't share much about the actual plot to these books. I haven't read them yet. I thought I would share them with you because I'm really excited about them, and they're the ones that made the cut. I will have access to my entire bookshelf collection again in early September. So I'm excited to be reunited, but hopefully I have a lot of good things to tide me over. Also, the Man Booker long list was just announced, so I put a lot of those books on my library hold list. So I'll be reading those too, but it's nice to have some ones that I know are mine, which is silly and arbitrary, but true for some reason. So yeah, I thought I would share those with you. I hope you guys enjoyed. If there's one of these books that I should get to, immediately, like right now, sooner than any of the others. I would love to hear that, or just generally your thoughts on these books. And as always, if you have recommendations for me to pick up the library based on any of these books or what you know about my tastes, I would also really appreciate those. Hopefully I'm able to establish a consistent uploading schedule from here and it all works out. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!